Hey, it's Jason. Welcome back to WordPressFoundations.com. This is Module 7, Installing Your Opt-in Form. So you may be wondering what an opt-in form is, right? Well, what an opt-in form is, is basically it's whenever some somebody comes to your site and then they opt in. Whenever you join WordPressFoundations.com, you opt it in. What that means is you put in your name and your email address into a little box and click the little button. Now, what that does is it allows me to be able to say, hey, I just created this brand new video and I just popped it in the members area. Here's the link and here's what it's going to do for you. And that's very powerful. That allows me to communicate with you and then you can just see the email and you don't have to keep coming back to the blog and keep checking. Oh, did you post anything new? Did you post anything new? And that's what's really cool. Another cool thing is I could actually just send you a survey saying, hey, I was going to make some new videos for you. What is it that you would like to learn more about? These are just some of the main reasons why we want to have an opt-in form and why I highly encourage you to use one. So inside this actual video, I'm going to just go ahead and walk you through the entire process, including installation, so you'll get a pure overview of how this thing's done. So again, the main reason you're going to want to have an opt-in form is it allows you to communicate with your readers. You can also survey your readers like we discussed before. And this is really, really simple. It just takes about two minutes to set up and go through the entire process. So visit Aweber and sign up. I have the link down below inside the resource area. So you don't have to do it right now. You can wait to get to the end of the video and see if it's something you want to do so you can see the whole process. So once you sign up, you're going to be presented, to your, presented with your dashboard. And what you need to do is just create a brand new list. And when you create the list, you just basically give it a name. And then you put in your contact information. And then you're presented with this screen right here. This is where you create your web form. Now the web form is a little opt-in box that shows up on your website and it's just going to be one small little line of code that we have to adjust so what you want to do is right here this is step one is you want to choose a template or choose a design so for this example you see I got this little blue logo up at the top and I'm gonna change that and go with one of the other options so I decided to go with the snapshot option as you can see up above which I like because it has this little cool thing where it's got like a little piece of tape so it looks like somebody just taped it to your website which just looks kinda cool right now while you're looking here, you're going to see these little gray boxes. And what these gray boxes do is they allow you to edit certain parts of this. Like if I wanted to get rid of the footer, I could click the little edit footer button and just delete it. And when I click the button up here at the top, it allowed me to change what it says at the top. So, for example, here I input a header uh, or a headline inside the header that says sign up today for instant access to my free course. So what that does is it tells you what you're going to get you can put sign up today so I can so you sign up today for my email newsletter so I can keep you informed of my latest and greatest articles or something like that that way people know what they're going to get whenever they sign up to your newsletter and what's in it for them right so save the form and then move on to step number two and step number two you just give the thing a name and then you choose your thank you page now what the thank you page is it basically it's just a page that thanks you for opting in it lets you know if you need to confirm with Aweber, they all they have this thing called double opt-in, where you have to sign up for the form, and then you get another email that you got to confirm. And once you confirm that email, then they're on the list. Then you can communicate with them and then send them surveys or let them know about some cool new thing you've seen or what you're working on or anytime you make a new article. I recommend creating a custom page if you want. That's what I like to use. But you can use the basic version. It's perfectly fine. So save the form and then you move on to step three. Step three says who will publish this form to your website. What you want to do here is click I will install my form and you want to use this little JavaScript snippet. This is just one small little line of code. So what I want you to do here is follow along in real time. Again, the link for Aweber is down below. Just middle mouse click on it or right click and open it into a new tab. Sign up if you want to. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up from here and I'm going to show you how to do this live. We just went over how to do widgets. So that we're just going to do this into a widget because that's kind of intuitive. I mean, you probably already know how to do this by now after watching the last video. But let me just go ahead and show you in real time. So just double click that, that line of text and then copy it and then follow along. All right, so now we have the code to install our opt-in field. Now what we need to do is go ahead and install it and put it on our blog. So just like last time, you want to go into your dashboard and then under appearance, click on widgets. Again, we're going to have to go ahead and create another text widget. It's really simple. You just take your text widget, drag it up to your site, pop it down, you're done. Now here's where you want to right click and paste in your, clo your code, hit save, and that's it. Now whenever you reload your main page over here on the right, you're now going to see your brand new opt-in form. Now in this case, it's taken up way too much space. So what we'd have to do is go back and you remember in the options, you had the option to edit the width. That's where you would change that. Or maybe if you use a different theme, you won't have this problem. But anyway, this is how easy it is. Now all someone has to do is type in their name 
and then type in their email address and then boom they're instantly on your list how cool is that now you can email them tell them hey i just posted this new blog post or you can say hey what is it that you want to learn most about right now that way i can help you you know whatever have fun with this and i'll see you soon so now let's recap if you're going to go with aweber it's going to cost you 19 dollars a month and personally i think it's totally worth it it's one of the most important things you can do and do so early that way you can go ahead and start building your list because this is one of those assets that grows over time that we talk about within the blogging mindset course. Now, I've surveyed and used pretty much all the different autoresponders out there, such as uh, there's Get Response, there's Eye Contact, and there's also some higher end things like Infusionsoft, which is really great, but it's about two hundred dollars a month, which may be outside your price range right now. And there's also some that's kind of like uh, there's Mailchimp, but um, I've talked to some people that use it and they're they're just they're just not really liking it that much. Not, I mean, it's not letting them do some of the things that they're wanting to do. And AWeber, basically, it's built for people that like to send out a lot of emails. So it's also very responsive. And personally, I think it's one of the most mature options out there that you can just use. And it's it provides great scalability. So you buy it now, and you're not going to be in trouble later. You can go with some of the other options. Uh, Get response is cheaper. But migrating from Get Response to AWeber is going to be a pain. You're probably going to lose some of your list. Trust me, I've tried because I used Get Response before. And the, the migration stuff, it just didn't work that well. Basically, you have to send an email to your list telling them, hey, you're switching to a whole nother list. And then you got to send them to an opt-in form. And then, you know, they have to do all this work. So you better give them a good reason if you're going to do that. I recommend just going with AWeber to begin with. That way you don't have to worry about it. And then if you're, you know, if you're doing marketing and stuff, you want to make some money, then you want to use Infusionsoft as your back end. So when you get new customers, have them inside your Infusionsoft system, which can also integrate well with your help desk. So again, another reason why you want to use it is just so you can survey your readers and keep in touch with them and let them know, you know, what's happening and so on and so forth. Then we can be like, hey, I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I'm going to be gone for the next couple of weeks. Uh, you might not hear from me much, but well, then again, you might. You never know. Uh, I mean, for me personally, I like the, I'm going to be popping up a whole bunch of videos and they're not all going to be on like one website or another website. So by being on the list, you're actually going to get all the various videos that I shoot, which was really cool, along with some other articles that you might not get if you're not on the list because, you know, I mean, I'm not going to put them all on one website. It just, you know, it wouldn't be appropriate. And again, installing the opt-in form is just really quick and easy. It, it, it takes, it's not rocket science. It's just, like I just showed you, it takes like, what was it, like 30 seconds or something. You just log into your dashboard and paste that code in your widget. It, it's not hard. The only, you know, the only thing that may be hard is having to pay the $19 a month if you're just starting out. But I think it's worth it, especially once you start getting some traffic. Maybe wait until you've been blogging for about maybe two weeks. But actually, I think AWeber has a free trial, so you might want to go ahead and sign up for that. Again, the link's down below in the members area, along with links for all the other resources. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon.